Locally, election officials are taking final steps to make sure every vote has been counted in our area. News 6's Lauren Cervantes is in Orange County with a closer look at that process. Lauren. Well, they held a canvassing board meeting here at the Orange County Supervisor of Elections office. It started early this morning. The Supervisor of Elections telling me that they were looking at those ballots that required a cure affidavit. Those cure affidavits were allowed to be submitted until 5 o'clock last night to make sure there's votes counted. In every county in the state of Florida, everybody is doing the reconciliation. And so yesterday at 5 p.m. was the deadline for anybody to turn in a cure affidavit so their vote by mail could be counted. Orange County Supervisor of Elections Bill Cowell says they are reviewing those ballots today at the canvassing board meeting. We make sure that every voter's ballot, it's eligible to vote, gets counted. And so it's added. That's why since Tuesday night, these things have been listed as unofficial results. Cowell says the deadline for the first unofficial numbers to the state is tomorrow at noon, but says next week they will be meeting again to look at the military ballots, as long as those ballots are postmarked by Election Day. Under Florida consent decree with the United States Department of Justice, Florida has to wait 10 days for military voters, so all canvassing boards in all 67 counties will be coming back next week to look at the military ballots and add them in. Cowles tells News 6 the final certifications are due to the state on November 15th. He also says Florida law states they have to hold on to the paper ballots for 22 months. We're cleaning up. Uh, packing everything back up, making sure we pay all of our bills and uh, get this thing done so we can go home and have Thanksgiving. Now, in terms of getting a breakdown of the demographics of all of the voters from this election, Cowles tells me that that requires them to download all of the databases from each of the early voting sites as well as on Election Day. And he says that we will likely have that information after the election is certified. In Orange County, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results, News 6.